India's sixth-generation fighter jet ambitions have received a major boost as offers from European nations pour in to collaborate on the next-generation air superiority fighter program with unparalleled access to next-gen technologies. Mugembo. Kushu. After Italy and UK invited India to join the GCAP or Global Combat Air Program they are developing with Japan, now comes another offer from leading European powers, Germany and Spain, for India to join the Future Combat Air System or FCAS they are developing along with France, which happens to be one of India's biggest military allies, having collaborated on Rafale jets for the Indian Air Force as well as Scorpion submarines for the Indian Navy. It seems like a golden opportunity for India to join a sixth-generation global program given China's recent unveiling of its own sixth-gen prototype, though its abilities or capabilities remain highly unproven. And what will it mean for the ANCA, India's indigenous fifth-generation stealth fighter program? The French-German-Spanish FCS program is highly attractive. The collaborative effort entails a sixth-generation fighter capable of networking with unmanned wingmen or armed drones, an air combat cloud which connects the next-gen fighter with the remote carrier. Expected to enter service by 2040, the highlight of this project is its future combat mission system, aiming to streamline decision-making process through advanced sensors and processing capabilities to ensure efficient mission execution. For India, joining the FCAS could mean a direct pathway to state-of-the-art technologies and access to European aerospace expertise. Leading aerospace giants are part of the FCAS project, including Dassault Aviation from France, Airbus with its headquarters in Germany, and Indra Systems, a Spanish defense and IT systems company. However, it is really the GCAP countries who have sent repeated invites to India. First, it was the UK who invited India to join its Tempest fighter program. And then later, multiple invites have come from Italy to join the GCAP project, which started in 2022. GCAP fighter will use advanced tech and AI-assisted mission management along with next-generation stealth aimed to revolutionize aerial warfare. Potentially reshaping the nature of air combat, GCAP also emphasizes integration with unmanned systems, loyal wingmen or combat drones. While the UK had extended the invitation to India two years back, Italy's renewed enthusiasm to bring India on board is driven by its desire to boost defence ties with the world's fourth biggest military and economic power. India is also well placed to share the immense cost and manpower associated with developing futuristic technologies. The benefits run beyond just cost sharing as leveraging collective technological expertise will bring down unit costs and overall production expenses. Leading manufacturers of the GCAP project includes BAE Systems from the UK, Leonardo, which was formerly Finn Mechanica from Italy, and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries from Japan. The proposals come in light of India's pursuit of sixth-generation fighter capabilities, which has taken fresh urgency amid China's recent advancements in this domain. China has soared ahead in the race for air superiority, with the flight of its sixth-generation fighter jet prototype, the Baby Type B, or the White Emperor, posing security challenges for India and serious concerns about the nation's position in the global air defence race. Accepting either one of the two strategic offers made by European nations would mean India entering a select group of nations having advanced fighter jet technologies. The unique opportunity made to India will allow easy access to state-of-the-art technologies of partner nations as well as an opportunity to collaborate on research and development. While these proposals highlight India's growing reputation as a vital strategic partner, sources revealed to BelgianMilitary.com say that India intends to reject both European proposals and instead focus on developing its own AMCA stealth fighter project independently, a decision which symbolizes India's ambition for self-reliance in defense domain, as well as confidence in its own scientific and manufacturing capabilities. While aligning with the FCS and GCAP would enhance India's geopolitical standing, however, becoming part of the program will require India to share sensitive data, compromise on key decisions, or shift focus away from the AMCA program.
But India is not short of options. Reports suggest Russian President Putin will arrive in India in early 2025 and with it, Russia will renew its push for Su-57 felon sale to the Indian Air Force. While India had been a part of the Sukhoi 57 project, New Delhi had pulled out earlier. So will the IAF reconsider this jet, especially given Russia's willingness to set up a production line in India? However, Russia's own involvement in the Ukraine war means Moscow may not be able to stick to any promised delivery schedule. As we have already seen delays with the S-400 and the nuclear submarine deliveries, Meanwhile, the only other option is the highly proven American F-35 stealth fighter. Manufacturer Lockheed Martin CEO had met Prime Minister Modi last year, giving rise to hopes for a deal. However, no progress has been made so far. Instead, Lockheed had been pushing for the F-21 sale to India under the 114 MRFA deal. But will it meet IAF's needs in an era of stealth aircraft? India has also traditionally stayed away from American fighter jets due to possible constraints on operational use. So while experts are pitching for the IAF to scrap plans to buy obsolete 4.5 generation jets and instead aim to buy three to four squadrons of American F-35 or the Russian Su-57 stealth fighters, given the geopolitical complications, any such deal remains unlikely, making the indigenous AMCA India's best bet. Progress is being made on the AMCA, which is being considered a solution to IF's aging fleet to counter increasing advances by adversaries like China. India's first 5.5 generation fighter aircraft, AMCA, is all set to be inducted by 2035, with its first flight by 2026 27, as confirmed by the Defence Research and Development Organisation. DRDO Chief Samir Kamath had revealed, quote, we will complete our development trials by 2034 and AMCA should be inducted by 2035. Our country will become Atmadil soon. This is truly a world-class aircraft and India will soon be one of the countries capable of developing a stealth aircraft." Unquote. Meanwhile, the AMCA NK2, which will be the upgraded version with more advanced capabilities, will have 90% indigenous content. This also includes plans for a powerful 110 kN fighter jet engine co-developed by India along with a partner nation, with Francis Safran keen to collaborate with India, offering a 100% tech transfer. However, no decision on an engine has been made so far. However, a co-developed engine manufactured in India will reduce dependence on imports and overcome possible delays, as witnessed in the LCA Tejas MK1A program due to GE Aerospace and its F404 engines. The AMCA MK2 prototype will be released in 2028 and will feature 70% indigenous components along with long-term vision to progressively replace imported systems with domestically developed alternatives. AMCA's stealth features will set the indigenous fifth-generation aircraft apart from IAF's existing fleet of fourth-generation or 4.5-generation fighter jets, including the Sukhoi 30 MKIs as well as the Rafale. The multi-role combat aircraft is designed for both air superiority and ground attacks with internal weapons bays to reduce radar cross-section. It is designed to be near invisible to enemy radar by deflecting or absorbing most radar waves. But AMCA is not India's only future aircraft. India made giant strides to become self-reliant in the aerospace domain. The LCA Tejas MK1A is set for weapons tests before full induction in March 2025. Following closely behind is the medium-weight, multi-role LCA Tejas MK2 program, which is scheduled to be inducted before the end of this decade. The Tejas MK2 will be more powerful and more capable than the MK1A version and thus suitable for sustained missions behind enemy lines. Reports suggest the Indian Air Force has committed to a minimum of six squadrons of the Tejas MK2 or about 120 jets, with the possibility of additional orders making it up to 200 jets. The Tejas MK2 jets are set to replace foreign fighter squadrons including the French Mirage 2000, the British French Jaguar and the Russian MiG-29s with a larger goal to modernize and enhance its combat fleet. The Tejas MK1, Tejas MK2 and AMCA programs are laying the groundwork for India to emerge as a leading global power in aerospace and air defense capabilities.
While it would be easy to join a European 6th gen program, but that would mean India's continued reliance on foreign suppliers for decades to come. Instead, programs like the AMCA indicates the government's as well as the Indian Air Force's desire to have full independence over Bharat's defence capabilities. Have your say. Should India join a European 6th gen program or instead accelerate the indigenous AMCA project? Leave a comment with your opinion, hit the like button and subscribe to InConnect News.